the health minister Dorothy Gwajima told a press conference in the capital Dodoma on Monday that the minister has no plans to receive vaccines for COVID-19. Any vaccines must receive ministry approval. It has not clear when any vaccines might arrive. Though Tanzania is eligible, the COVAX global effort aimed at delivering doses to low- and middle-income countries. The health minister insisted Tanzania is safe. During a presentation in which she and others didn't wear face masks, she encouraged the public to improve hygiene practices, including the use of sanitizers, but also steam inhalation. This has been dismissed by health experts as well as a way to kill coronavirus. Chief government chemist Fidelis Mafumiko also suggested the use of herbal medicine to cure COVID-19 without offering evidence. Tanzania's government has been widely criticized for its approach to the pandemic. It has not updated its numbers of coronavirus infections, 509, since April. The World Health Organization's Africa chief last week urged Tanzania to share its data on infections, while the African Centers for Disease Control and Prevention director say that if they do not fight this as a collective on the continent, they will be doomed. President John Mangufuli, who has long asserted that government has eliminated COVID-19 in Tanzania. Last week, asserted that vaccines for it are inappropriate, even as fast, significant vaccine deliveries begin to arrive on the African continent. Authorities in Tanzania, from the Catholic Church to government institutions, are pushing back and telling the public and employees that COVID-19 exists in the country and precautions must be taken. While it's difficult to gauge the level of virus infections in Tanzania, this week leading opposition party SET Wazalendo announced that party leader Saith Sharif Hamad, vice president of the semi-autonomous island region of Zanzibar, was being treated for COVID-19. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in its latest travel warning on Tanzania says the country's level of COVID-19 is very high. It gave no details but urged against all travel to the East African nation.